forever. O Lord, your word is settled in heaven forever, forever, O Lord, your word is settled. It is settled forever, O Lord. Your word is settled, is settled, it is settled. Hallelujah, saints of God. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is another Friday revival, and I am so glad to be here once again. Thanks be to God who makes all things possible, including this broadcast. Glory be to God. This is Chelsea Dozie, and I want to welcome you to this broadcast today. And I want to ask you to kindly invite others to join us as we fellowship together in the Holy Spirit. The word of God is forever sure. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. There is no argument. There is no com uh, controversy. The word of God is true. So as we reflect together on God's word and as we encourage one another with this broadcast, please share as much uh, as you can, as many times as you can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is our, our Friday um, break, uh, Friday uh, revival service. Praise God. Let us pray together as we dive into the word of God. Father, we thank you for giving us such opportunity as this. Thank you, O oh God, for this privilege. In the name of Jesus, we are so honored to be called your children. We are so honored to be assembled together on this platform in your name. We give you glory. We give you praise. Father, we pray that you minister to us. Lord, I pray for my hearers. Bless them for tuning in. And as many that will uh, join in this broadcast, Lord, I pray that you may touch them, that you may bless them, that your word may find uh, root in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, God. I'm only a vessel. I ask that you use me. I pray that I will not speak according to my human understanding, but Lord, according to that which the Spirit is leading me to say, according to that which pertains to life and godliness. Help me, O Lord, today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, saints of God. In today's Friday revival service, I want to speak on the subject, Be of Good Cheer. Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. And when I say be of good cheer, what I have in mind is to tell you not to worry about anything. Don't worry about everything going on around your life. Don't worry about the persecution that believers are experiencing. Do not worry about those. When you look around you, when you look around you, you may find one or two reasons to get worried. You may find one or two reasons to question your faith. You may find one or two reasons to even give up on God entirely. All those things are there. But this is the desire of the devil to see that you don't make it. It is the desire of the enemy to see that you come to this point and you throw in the towel. It is the desire of the devil that you surrender and you give up and that heaven may lose such a great soul like yours. You are not a candidate of hell. I believe you are not a candidate of hell. Whatever the devil is doing to drag you into the, 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 the condemnation in hellfire will never work in the name of Jesus. There are a lot of things that you can see when you look around you. You see believers backsliding. 
you see a lot of people compromising you see people going back to their vomit all of these things are happening and sometimes it's contagious sometimes when the other person sees this person doing this thing or going this direction they'll be tempted to follow when people see that their leader the priest the the, the shepherd they should be looking up to is not uh, living uh, in the right way sometimes they might be led to believe that this is the way to go there are a lot of things happening but we are not supposed to do those uh that we see other things other people doing we we're not supposed to do those things that that we see other people doing these are last days the devil will possess a lot of people a lot of people will be filled with the with the with with, with demons a lot of people will be filled with the devil the same way the infilling of the holy spirit happens is also the same way the infilling of demons happens a lot of people can be demonic even in the church some people will ask is it possible for a child of god to be possessed it is possible 101 percent possible for a child of god to be possessed for a christian to be possessed it is possible because i remember peter was once possessed by the devil and jesus rebuked him immediately and said get behind me devil imagine your your shepherd your pastor looking you in the eye and calling you devil and say to you get behind me devil that was what happened to peter jesus rebuked the devil in him not just peter but the devil speaking through him and then and then in in another occasion jesus said to peter the devil have desired to have you so he can sift you as with but i pray for you that your faith fail not i have prayed for you for your faith fail not the devil is the master of all liars the devil is the master of deception he has a way of convincing people of things that are not real the devil has a way of convincing people to do what they know directly goes against the ordinances of the lord so when this happens child of god open your eyes because as for being tempted you are going to be tempted i am going to be tempted and jesus did not bring us into this to abandon us whatever you are experiencing today the temptation that you are facing today i just want you to know that the lord was tempted the same way the bible says that he was tempted in the manner uh, with which we are we are we are tempted today but he did not sin and he is our role model no prophet is a role model no pastor is a role model nobody is a role model jesus is our role model and we should follow his steps hallelujah we should follow his steps temptation may come stand your ground child of god there is victory ahead jesus says in the book of john chapter 16 verse uh, 33 jesus says these things i have spoken unto you that in me you may have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world these things have i spoken unto you that in me you may have peace everything that you are seeing today has been spoken of whatever the world is experiencing today everything has been spoken of there is nothing that comes as a surprise all of these things were prophesied all of these things were spoken of maybe the time you got born again nobody taught you maybe you didn't uh, receive all the teachings uh, with regards to the prophecies of the bible uh, concerning the end times all of these things were spoken of now when you are getting born again you should be able to know what you're stepping into you should be able to know that the devil will not be happy that indeed you are going the path of righteousness because the devil is a sinner and the father of all sinners it is his desire to keep you sinning because hell was not designed for you child of god hell was not designed for you and i hell was designed for the devil hell is designed for the devil hell is a place where god has prepared for the devil and the angels that rebelled with him in heaven 
to burn forever. But the devil does not love God's creations. The devil does not want to end there alone. He wants to take as much people as possible. And that's why he keeps speaking to your ears to do silly things. That is why he keeps speaking to your ears to break the covenant that you have with God. That's why he keeps speaking to your ears to go against the word of God. The devil does not have your, 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 your best interest at heart. You should learn to resist the voice of the enemy because he wants to drag you to hell with him. He doesn't want to end there alone. He wants to carry you along. I am a sandal, dear. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth and placed man in a beautiful garden called Eden. The devil being an outcast became so jealous. He came and played his tricks. Men fell for the tricks of the enemy and lost his place in the Garden of Eden. Now God is interested in restoring us to the original life he designed for us in the beginning. And that would be in paradise. The devil would not want you to end up there. The devil would not want you to go there. Now look around you and see all the things happening, all the deception, all the massive backsliding, all of those persecutions. And sometimes it looks like when you get born again, things become tough. Sometimes it looks like the more you pray, the more challenges you get. Sometimes it looks like God is far away, but God is never far. God is near. God is near. God is near. All these things. I have spoken unto you that in me you may find peace in Christ Jesus there is peace it's not about having money it's not about acquiring every wealth of this world all the beautiful things and everything of this world it's not about that what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul in Jesus there is peace hey, Abahata. somebody test Test and see that the Lord is good. Test and see that the Lord is good. The rich also cry. The rich cries. In Jesus there is peace. A life outside of Christ is full of crisis. This is a fact. What joy do you have, O oh unbeliever? What joy do you have? What joy do you have? Without Jesus, there is no peace of mind. Without Jesus, without Jesus, you have no custody over your soul. Without Jesus, your soul belongs to the devil. Without Jesus, your soul is lost. In him you will find peace. Tribulation may be there. Economy may be down. Terror might be everywhere, but in Jesus you will find peace. Oh, how I go to bed every day with so much peace in my heart. That if anything happens, I will be with Jesus. How I wake up every morning with joy in my heart. With so much peace in my heart. Knowing that whatever the day may bring, my life is found in Jesus. That is my assurance. That come what may. My destination is with Jesus. In him you will find peace. You will find peace in the time of confusion. You will find peace in the time of tribulation. You will find peace in the time of mourning. Mourning, crying, grieving. You will find peace in Jesus in those times. Whatever time the enemy brings your way. In, 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 the, in a time of battles, you will find peace in Jesus. In him, there is peace. Some of us people wonder why we are so strong. No matter what happens, no matter everything that has occurred, why are we so strong? Why do we keep going on and on and on so strong and kept moving? Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the secret. Oh yes, when you hear that Jesus is the answer for the world today, it is the truth. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. In him, there will be peace. In him, peace will prevail. In him, we shall find peace. Hallelujah. And he says, 
in this world you will have tribulation he never promised us uh, uh, a peaceful life on earth you will be hated for the sake of christ you will be hated for the sake of christ in this world you have tribulation tribulation has that's what the world has to offer to you child of god tribulation there is no way the devil will sit and watch you uh prosper watch you receive all manner of beautiful things and all manner of uh, goodness in life without fighting you that is why we fight every day we fight every day and our battle is not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers and against rulers of darkness in high places the devil is always fighting once you denounce him once you depart from his ways once you refuse to be used by the devil he starts to fight you immediately tribulation comes persecution comes and because the devil's time is short he does not discriminate on whom he persecutes his main goal is to destroy all god's creations john 10 10 the thief comes but to steal to kill and to destroy but jesus says i have come that you may have life and have it in abundance be of good cheer child of god this world is full of tribulations 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 persecution what tribulation are you facing today what persecution are you facing today are you being persecuted for your faith are you being persecuted for your stand in christ are you being persecuted for the word of god that you have held on to are you being persecuted by men are you being persecuted by family be of good cheer they will persecute you for believing in jesus they will persecute you for being a child of god some people of other faith might hate you you might find them in your workplace when time for recommendation comes when time for appraisal comes they will rate you very low because you are a christian be of good cheer this is tribulation and jesus says all of these things are going to happen he said be of good cheer stop crying child of god stop crying and stop comparing yourself to unbelievers and don't you ever imagine compromising your faith be of good cheer rejoice oh child of god rejoice rejoice hallelujah hallelujah rejoice if you are watching this i need you to type i am rejoicing if you are rejoicing i said rejoice 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 be of good cheer you don't have to worry you don't have to think unbelievers are more prosperous than believers it shouldn't come to your mind you shouldn't you shouldn't belittle yourself in that way you shouldn't belittle your god you shouldn't make your stand with jesus look like a waste of time be of good cheer don't worry don't worry do your best and leave the rest for christ do your best and leave the rest for christ he says i have overcome the world jesus is the overcomer jesus is the victorious one and in him you have victory in him you have victory over the devil in him you have victory over death in him you have victory over satan and his cohorts in jesus you have your victory don't live as if you are defeated already in christ jesus you have victory our redeemer is coming soon when he appears in the cloud 
with sound of trumpet and the angels returning back with him. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you will understand that you have never been a loser. You made a wise decision to follow Jesus. You made a wise choice to follow Christ. You were an overcomer. For in all this, you are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. You are more than conqueror. Hallelujah. That is my message for you today. Be of good cheer, child of God. When you are persecuted for your faith, be of good cheer. When they say all manner of things against you, it's not you they are insulting. They are insulting your God. And your God will answer them. He will answer them. When Jesus says, if they attack you from here, if they slap you, turn the other side. He doesn't, he doesn't mean you should show uh, weakness when it comes to uh, attacks. All he's trying to say is give room for the wrath of God. Give room for God's vengeance. Alright? The Lord bless you for tuning in. And I want to believe that this message today has really blessed you. Hallelujah. Let's have a word of prayer together as I end this broadcast. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have heard your word. And we believe everything that is written for us. We pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you help us in these perilous times. In the name of Jesus, we pray for courage, we pray for faith, we pray for grace to continue. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, that you may help us help us help us help us and oh lord i pray for that brother that sister that is giving up i ask so oh god that your angels may minister to him or her that they may cheer up that they may take up their mantle and forge ahead in the name of jesus i pray for as many that has been wounded because of their faith lord i pray that you heal them in the mighty name of Jesus, every fallen soldier of Christ, I pray for you. Receive strength. May you arise and forge ahead. May you arise and move on. In the name of Jesus, I bind every backsliding spirit. Yes, Lord, I cast them out of the lives of your children. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you. Oh God, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, whoever you are watching, Receive courage, receive strength, receive more grace in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall by the wayside. All this while you have spent all these years and months, depending on when you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, all of these years will never be in vain. In the name of Jesus, the devil that is attacking your faith will definitely lose the battle. In the name of Jesus, I declare you redeemed. I declare you saved. I declare you uh, delivered from the oppression of the wicked one. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is Charles Edoze. I will see you again on Sunday. May God bless you. Bye for now.